what you're about to do is going to be a whole different thing than before, or? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And we had time, two years, to prepare for it. I'm Amelie Fantas. And I'm Tommy Ten, and together we are the Clairvoyants. We can make the impossible possible. You chose the Five of Hearts. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. The final moment on America's Got Talent, it was only us and Craze on stage. The whole America was watching. Craze Vanderwaal! It was very hard, but it also pushed us. Since then, we have spent all the time working on our performance. We knew that together we can step it up, do something bigger, something better. Now we are part of HET Champions. On HET, it was about the best acts out of America. Now it's about the best acts in the whole world. There is a lot of pressure, but we will put all our heart and passion into it. For the last two years, we've been preparing for a second opportunity to show the judges, but also to show America we are ready for the first place. And tonight, it will pay off. After our incredible journey, we are thrilled to be back on America's Got Talent, The Champions. We've been so lucky to travel around the world we also receive tons of mail. People want to know everything about us, but also about the churches. Yes, Oops. and probably the number one question they have about the churches is about your love lives. Oh, right. oh. oh I love yes, this yes, act yes. already, <laughs> already. Please stand up and join us on stage. Churches, churches. <laughs> We're about to get in their business! Simon, always a pleasure. Likewise, nice to see you. Right next to uh, Heidi, and thank Chloe, you. Yes. Right next to me. Okay. Excellent. So, judges, I need you to imagine a dream date, okay? Simon, Heidi, come with me. There's <laughs> a dream date. <laughs> Perfect. On the table, Simon, here I have. 100 different postcards from cities all over the world, okay? Look through them, they're all different. i like you to pick one city for your dream date, okay? Don't show it to anyone. Just put it inside this envelope, hold it like this, and bring it back to the judge's table, okay? Okay. And Heidi, yes. you will select one candle. Okay. Any one you like, put it inside this bag, and also you can bring it back to the table. Okay. In the meanwhile, Amelie will blindfold herself, and I will look away. <laughs> Howie, yes. you are next. Okay. <laughs> Think about a gift bringing to your dream date, okay? Okay. Any gift you like, make it random, be creative. Not the usual, I don't know, uh, flowers, candy, okay? Okay. <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah. write it down here and place the board face down on the table, okay? Okay. That's for you, please do that on your seat. Oh, thank you so much, Howie, thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Mel B, you will be caretaker of this box. Okay. Hold on to it. Please don't open it yet. Just bring it to the judge's table. Thank you so much, Milby. Thank you. Do me a favor. Imagine your dream date involving your choices and send your thoughts towards Amelie now. I will start with... Heidi. I want you to imagine the fragrance you chose. I think it's something very romantic. It reminds me of a nice summer evening. The scent you chose, I believe, it is campfire. Can we see your candle? Campfire. Was Amelie right? She was. <laughs> Wow. 
Now, Simon, let me continue with you. We are not in the United States. You went further away. I believe the city you chose, it must be Shanghai, China. Is that correct? Can we see your postcard? I'm going to be honest with you. I did pick somewhere different, and at the last moment, I changed it to Shanghai. Oh. Now, finally, Howie. OK. I believe it is something very unusual to bring to your dream date. OK. But, Howie, I believe to your dream date, you will bring simple pants. Pants, is that correct? Pants? Yes, it is! No! What? Yes. A big round of applause for Amelie! You don't want to show up without pants. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, one last thing. Mel B, you have the box. Yes. Do us a favor, open the box and let us all know what's inside. A remote control. Take it out, because we save the best for last. Mel B, press play. Hi, everybody. The show hasn't loaded in yet. Nobody is here. But this morning, Amelie said there is something she has to do. Let's look what she's been up to. Amelie knew that Heidi would pick campfire that Simon would go to Shanghai, and that Howie would bring pants. Ah! That's crazy. This is what scares me, because they got second. <laughs> And I feel like they're a little mad. And they're like, you know what? We ain't getting second again. Oh my god, that's just crazy. Oh, you're brilliant. You're absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Melvin. Really, really Thank are. you. Heidi. First of all, I have to tell you guys, you definitely were one of my favorites two years ago. And you just totally wowed us again with this amazing act. I mean, pants, how random is that? That's I mean, so it random. is unbelievable. You guys are so great. Thank you well so much. Done. Thank you, Heidi. Simon. I mean, I was like, ah! I mean, this has just blown my mind. I mean, seriously. Boy, you set the standard, because that is going to be tough to follow. The whole purpose of this show was, for people like you who didn't win, <laughs> let's give you another shot and let's see if you've improved. This was way beyond anything we'd seen before. I'm going to be really honest with you. Good luck. Why not the golden buzzer? That's my golden buzzer today. Why? Why not? I was just being random. I changed no, my really? car. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. I had Honolulu, and then I put it down, and then I put Shanghai in the envelope. Hi, I'm Howie Mandel. Thank you, YouTube watchers and people. If you want to continue to watch more of this, just click below.